Hey guys, I have a 2010 Can-Am Outlander 650 fuel injected that is not running very well. Um, I cleaned out some of the spark plugs, but I ended up getting a fuel pressure tester from AutoZone that I rented um, that I just basically hooked in right here. And uh, it was pulling 20 PSI is all. Um, I believe spec is around 45, maybe upwards of 50. So I'm about half of what it should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the fuel tank. I've already pulled these plastics right here, removed the seat. This is the Max, so it's the two-seater. Um, on this model for 2010, the fuel pump is right here. You can actually see it right here if I pull this off. So the fuel pump on this one is right here. On earlier models, like on the uh, mid 2000, you know, 2005, 2006, 2007, the pump was down here and you'd have to pull your uh, shock right here and pull out the pump to the side. Um, of course, you have to remove the tire. But on this model, um, it's right here on the top. I believe they started that, I don't know, 2008, 2009, maybe 2010. It's right here. It's a little bit easier. You don't have to pull the pump or the, the gas tank to the side. So I'm going to go through and uh, remove this. The way you remove this pump is you just kind of get a flathead screwdriver and with a few knocks of a hammer, you kind of just unscrew that and remove these, uh, these hoses. This has got a clamp right here that'll pop off and then your wire harness right here just disconnects. So I'll go through and do that and then, uh, and then continue the video. Okay, so I got that uh, unspooled right there and uh, there's my fuel pump. Now you'll kind of see, you kind of got this bracket right here for your seat and you're, you don't have much clearance pulling that pump out. So what I did, <clears throat> I was able to get it out but I had to finagle it a little bit. There's a fuel line that runs up to here, up to the splitter, at least for the V-twin. I pulled that line and uh, there wasn't enough room to pull this out with the pump. So I had to first kind of get this over the fitting, um, you know, over the top of the fuel tank with the fuel pump down in still. I kind of got this wiggled out and over the fuel line and out. With this out of the way, you can then pull the pump, but it was, it was getting this and finagling that out, that was that was the trick. But it is possible without breaking anything. Um, and then once that come, came out, or the, uh, the cap came off, I was able to pull this kind of straight out and just had to wiggle it a little bit around this, kind of work it around that space. Not much space, but it is doable. Okay, I got the uh, pump out, I got it replaced. Now you can buy this assembly um, as is on eBay and it comes all assembled and, and everything. I chose to go the route where you buy just the pump and you basically pop these tabs off. I had to have someone help me because there's three of them. You pop these tabs off right here, these black tabs. It slides down. Then you have to pop the tabs off on this one as well. And you have to unplug some of this harness and then uh, you remove the pump. Now, it wasn't too bad. If I were to do this route again, I'd probably just buy this whole assembly. I don't think it was too much more, but if you are on a budget, you could just go through and rebuild this and go from there. So I've got my uh, assembly back together and I will go put it back in the, uh, in the tank. And I'm assuming I'm gonna have to kind of finagle it down a little bit again, uh, kind of how I removed it with that, uh, with that cap. I'm just gonna have to kind of do it separately. I'll kind of put this down and then slide the uh, cap over this and then work it in. It's, it's too hard to, uh, to try and do them together. So see how it goes. Okay, I got the pump back in. Again, I just put the pump in first and kind of got it compressed and then took the cap and just went right over these, uh, right over the hose and then put it back in. So I was able to get underneath this bracket. The issue is, um, I had a hard time putting this back in because this this pump, the, the mechanism kind of kind of compresses down. So you've got to, and it's spring loaded, so you've got to push it down while making sure that your cap is, is lining up correctly. 
that was what kind of I struggled with. You wanna make sure that your fuel line to the motor is kind of lined up through here. You got a vent hose right here. So it'll, it'll kind of just fit in there, but you kind of have to compress it and hold it while you put this cap on. Um, getting this to thread on was kind of difficult for me. It just wasn't lining up right. And, and you gotta be wary of the gasket on the pump that it lines up correctly. But anyway, I got it compressed down and then tightened down. And then I'll take a screwdriver with a flathead and just tighten this up and just, you know, just gently um, knock the screwdriver, the flathead this way to tighten it. Um, anyway, I got it connected. Let's see how she runs. You can hear my fuel pump. That's good. I'll just prime it a couple times. Here we go. Let it run through the fuel system a little bit. Okay. Well, I'll go through and finish putting the plastics back together, but uh, not too bad on a job like this. The plastics, obviously, you got the one kind of shoe, or the horseshoe shaped plastic that goes on top, and then uh, and then your plastics go back in, and then your seat. So, not too bad of a job on this Can-Am uh, 2010 650.